I started teaching at Pearl River in September of 1985. So I've been nice. here, this is my 33rd year. Wow. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Not that I want to feel old, but the class that I first started, my first class, turns 50 this year. That was a little mind boggling to me when I figured <laughs> that out. Yeah. Not that I'm old or anything, but yeah. Well, I went to college at Iona and graduated, got my degree, and then I went and got my master's from Columbia University, and then I worked for a year for a nonprofit organization called United Way in Westchester, and they are a, uh, a nonprofit organization that tries to provide services to children and elderly people, um, community services. They use tax dollars to help fund social service programs for people, That's really cool. and they run daycare centers and programs for the elderly and things like that. And so I was one of their research people. I, I researched the effectiveness of the programs by looking at some of the statistics, like how many children were served or how many elderly were served and at what cost and things like that, and tried to work out if the programs were successful based on some of the math. Oh, and so it was really fun. Cool. So I did that first. Yeah. yeah that yeah. seems cool. And then I decided when my um, kids were little that the hours for teaching were a lot better than mm -hmm. corporate hours were. Yeah. So I decided to make a switch and go into teaching because I just felt that then I could really be around more for my kids when they were little. And I thought I might go back into business after they got older, but I love teaching. So here I am. So you stuck 33 around. 33 years later, I'm still here. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm what you call a bit of a hybrid. I have two licenses. I have a degree in business, and then I also have a degree in, in teaching for teaching math. So I've been teaching some business classes and some math classes for many, many years now. Um, for math, I've done five different types of math since I got here. Wow. Because the curriculum keeps yeah, changing. Yeah, keeps changing. So when I first started, some of like the, the students' parents right, remember, we had something called uh, sequential math one, sequential math two, and sequential math three, like that. And then, um, you know, calculus and so forth. And then it went to integrated algebra and integrated geometry. And then it went to common core. And, um, you know, now it's changing again. So um, I've, I've been through a lot of different varieties of, of the math. But primarily, I taught, um, I taught algebra. I taught geometry. Uh, it, you, there used to be something called Math A and Math B, which was sort of like um, an integration of algebra and geometry. So I've done a lot of that. Um, I've also taught a lot of business classes. When I first started, believe it or not, I taught typing. Wow. There were old typewriters across the hall in room 206, and where Mr. Kiernan is now, and they had these big IBM typewriters, and I would teach keyboarding so the, the students could learn how to type. Wow. This is a hard one. There's so many memories over 33 years, just so, so many. Um, but there's, there's a few that, that come to mind. Back when we had a business program, we used to be able to take students and take them to business competitions. So the business students from our school would compete against other schools like Nanuet or North Rockland and on business projects, designing business plans and you know proposals for starting your own business and things like that. And we would compete. And it was great. Uh, we would go, uh, Stack used to sponsor the competitions, and we would go and compete, and you'd get to meet kids from all the other schools and teachers from the other schools and see how well your students were doing. And our kids always would win some awards, so it was really very rewarding. So yeah. that, that I have a great memory of doing that back when we had the business program. Um, I've been National Honor Society advisor for 31 years. Wow. 31 years. And so I have a lot of fond memories of of the National Honor Society induction ceremonies where I would get to meet the parents and the families of all of our students that were getting inducted and get to share in all of those accomplishments that the kids had. So I really felt like that was a very rewarding experience. I think what I'm going to miss most is the, the, the spirit that's here of family almost. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of the students you know, outside of the classroom as well. Um, you see them at plays, sporting events. I see them at church because I'm a member of St. Aidan's, so I see a lot of the kids you know, on the weekends at church and things. And just in different capacities outside of the classroom. And I've gotten to know so many of them, not just as students, but as people. And I really feel that I'm going to miss all of those relationships of coming in and being able to talk to kids about things that are important to them. 
And I'm also going to definitely miss the wonderful colleagues that I work with because I have a great math department and great business colleagues. And I'm gonna really miss working with them too. Yeah, that's gotta be hard to leave. It is. I'm getting teary, so. <laughs> For teaching here well I really hope that people will remember me as a dedicated hard-working teacher who really tried to do everything that I could to help them learn in the way that they learn best and somebody who cared about them as people not just as students so I, I hope that in some small way they'll look back at some point and say that something they learned in my class is going to help them in the future and I feel that that happens a lot with the careers class because one of the most yeah. rewarding things for me is when I walk down the hall and someone will stop me and say, I just want to let you know I used that resume we did and I, and I got a summer job or I got a college scholarship. I just happened to use mine like recently. Did actually. you? Yes. yes. I'm so happy because to me that is so rewarding mm -hmm. because I feel like I did something that was going to actually help you and not just yeah. make you memorize a lot of ridiculous math rules or something, yeah. you know? <laughs> so I really, really enjoy that. All of kids come up to me and say, you know that mock interview we did? Well, I went on a job interview and I got a job and it really helped me. And even when they go off to college, sometimes I'll get emails from students and they'll just say, I just wanna let you know, I used this you know, skill that I learned in careers class and, and it helped me. And I really think that, um, that that's you know, something that I, I hope that students will remember me for is that I was someone who actually taught them something that they were able to apply in their future and that they actually found useful. And you know, a lot of people told me when I went into teaching that some of the greatest rewards you will never know about because when your students really realize that what you taught them was important, they're not here anymore. Yeah. You know, they're in college or they're out on the job and, and all of a sudden something comes up and they take something they learned from here and they apply it. But me, I would know that most of the time, yeah. you know, because some small fraction, one or two kids will maybe email you or see you somewhere and say, by the way, you know, I learned this or I used this, but how many of them will, you yeah. know? But I really hope that out there at some point, they will use what they learned and, and at least say, wow, I remember I learned something like that in Mrs. Moore's class mm -hmm. and it helped me. Yeah, like